And the leaders with the Gregory Portland ISD getting some big news today that could eventually have an impact on top education priorities for state lawmakers. Yeah, it turns out the local law uh, school district rather is being selected as one of only nine boards across Texas to take part in a new program called the Trusty Advocacy Program through Raise Your Hand Texas. Our Bill Churchwell spoke with leaders from GPISD today and explains why this is such a big deal for the school district. Bill? So what is Raise Your Hand Texas? Well, it is a nonprofit created by HEB Chairman Charles Butt. The goal is to improve public education for the 21st century. By being selected for the program, GPISD is now part of helping make that happen for the entire state. The classroom isn't always the front lines to make sure your child has the best education possible. Sometimes it starts at the state capitol. There are some special you know, uh, needs that we have here in Texas, and especially here in, in Portland area, as you know. And so we want to make sure they're, they're aware of that and how it can, you know, what they do up there can impact what happens down here. Victor Hernandez, the school board president, says as the city of Portland continues to see huge growth, so does the school district. Recently opening a new middle school with other additions on the way. Members of the GPISD school board are hoping to have a bigger voice in state funding and policy. In fact, it was during this budget workshop, trustees signed their acceptance into the first ever trustee advocacy program. Really exciting, actually, you know, to to be able to join uh, Raise Your Hand Texas. Excited because the program through the Raise Your Hand Texas Foundation is aimed at giving these leaders the tools to learn how to better influence what lawmakers make their priorities in the education system. With more industry in the area, GPISD is considered a wealthy school district. Something Hernandez says comes with both positives and negatives. Our revenue is great, but also means that uh, some of this money is going to have to go back to the state. And so we want to make sure that we keep as much as possible and that there is a really legitimate need to hold on to some of these funds. Every legislative session, our school district, as do many school districts across the state of Texas, set out their legislative priorities. Superintendent Dr. Michelle Cavasso says some of their priorities include things like school finance, academics, the teacher retirement system, even charter schools. We really looked at uh, the priorities around Chapter 313 agreements and recapture and equalizing funding across the state. Another is ensuring that charter schools are held to the same accountability standards and reporting requirements as public school systems. The board members say they are looking forward to learning over the next 18 months during the program in order to build their skills while advocating for bigger outcomes for students and the community. Bill Churchwell, 3 News. All right, Bill, thank you so much. Now, you